Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we're going to be roasting lamb knuckles on the rotisserie. This video started 24 hours ago when we marinated these lamb knuckles. We chopped up garlic, parsley, and we added that in olive oil. Then we put it over the lamb knuckles and added a little bit more salt. We set it in the fridge for 24 hours and now it's ready to go on the grill. I just took this out of the fridge and it smells absolutely amazing. This is the kind of smell you think of when you think of lamb. So let's get these beauties and put them on the rotisserie. I have the Napoleon Prestige Pro here and we set it up for rotisserie. We got the spit roast and we're going to put on our lamb knuckles. The bone is on this side and most of the meat is on the other side. So we're going to put it on the spit in between the bone and the meat. I want to keep a little bit of distance in between the lamb knuckles just to make sure that we get a good roast. I'm going to secure the last one, tie it up and put it on our grill. We're going to turn on the outside burner and we're going to turn on the back burner. We're going to set it to low and let it slowly roast our lamb knuckles. Let's close the lid. If you have a charcoal rotisserie setup, you want to make sure that the charcoal is banged to the sides and not underneath the lamb knuckles. Of course we want to have a sauce to go with our lamb. We're going to make garlic sauce. And for that we're going to need mayonnaise. I like to use a yogurt based sauce. We're taking about two cups of mayonnaise, one cup of creme fraiche. <laughs> that fucking bastard. Two cloves of garlic, which we're going to chop fine. We're going to add a bit of salt to the garlic. And then we're going to take the tip of our knife and turn it into puree. Add this to the mayonnaise. We'll put in a little bit of fresh chopped parsley, the juice of half a lemon, a pinch of salt, and a small pinch of salt I mean, and a pinch of sugar. I'm going to mix that up. Quick taste test. Wow, this is good. It just needs a little bit of black pepper. Perfect. We'll put it in the fridge until our lamb is done. The lamb knuckles have been rotating for two hours. Let's check on them. Wow, look at that color. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We got a nice bit of crunch here. Look at that. That is really done, really tender. When you can poke them like that, they're ready to take off the grill. So we'll stop the rotisserie, take them off the grill, get some sauce on them. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Taking these lamb knuckles off and they smell absolutely fantastic. There we go. Build up a nice bit of crunch. Now we're gonna let these cool down a bit because there's no way I can eat them this hot. Now we can start to touch them again and if I just pinch it, they're so soft and crunchy. So let's bite into one. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, the lamb knuckles have a strong lamb flavor. Together with our marinade, wow, it's just perfect. Look at how juicy it is. That is absolutely fantastic. Now let's try it with a little bit of our homemade garlic sauce. A little bit. Whoa. Well, there we go. Mm. 
while the lamb knuckles turned out juicy and crunchy. Absolutely gorgeous and with the garlic sauce it's a surprise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below and I want to say a big thank you to all of our sponsors as well as on YouTube as on Patreon. See you guys next time. Keep on grilling.